Hey guys, that's not about here. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we were about to talk to Alice so we could get Janet to go to Jack. Oh, God. Uh, Janet asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, uh, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. Morb gets around. Hmm. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. That's what I said. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Uh, let's see. So are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it. Just this once. Wow, that was easy. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Yeah, I don't know. Like this relationship is based on like literally shit all. Like they they they've only seen each other. Like they look good. Okay, so now I'm gonna let Janet know. Oh, come on. Let's go on. Name's ass fucker. Right, talk later. Amy, was this weird? Like judging relationships and looks here. Okay then. I feel the same way when I get out of the bed. Yep. <laughs> That's how it happens. Okay. Alright, where is she? Uh, over here? Oh, she's left. Alright, right there. Wow, Jesus Christ. Come on, people. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Yes. I can miss her to pay what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Yeah, I can't even, to be honest. Oh, alright. See you later. Goodbye. Now, is she going to be alive by the time we get back to Jack? Probably not. Well, whatever. Whew, boy. Like, seriously, I, who would actually go out of their way to do this? I suppose I'm doing it to be liked by the boomers. Wait, I got two locations to go to? Hey, what the... Huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Meet Janet back at Nellis. Turn to Jack. Oh, I gotta go to Nellis. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Interesting. Don't know what's going on there. Huh. Alright. Uh, guess we'll just start heading in that direction and see where we can go. Hmm. Yeah, talking about movies that I've seen recently. I'm slightly becoming a fan of Brad Pitt over the times. So I have. Have indeed. Been watching all the different kinds of movies with him. Uh, like Fight Club, uh, Snatch I saw the other day, which is, is a pretty interesting movie. <laughs> um, there's some interesting music as well, I like it. Um, oh, what else has got Brad Pitt in it? Um, although Fight Club is a really, really good movie. It's like, Fight Club is, is interesting, so I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, because I highly recommend that as well. If you think it's going to be about a Fight Club, you're about a quarter right. <laughs> if it was literally just about a club where people are fighting each other, if that was it, you, you would be dead wrong. Like seriously, you'd be, you'd watch that movie and you'd be like, I thought it was just about a fight club. Yeah, no. What? Is she like sprinting across the town or something? What's going on here? Is she. Hold on, hold on. I think that, like, that was literally her running across. God damn it. I think that was her just running right by us. Alright, whatever. Let's just go talk to Jack. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, I, I, did, the, I did the quest. I, I don't understand what was going on there. Whatever. Oh, wait. I think that's the two of them right there. Hey! Hey, come back! Ah, son of a bitch. Man, these guys are working fast. How, long, how much time passes when you fast travel? Probably enough for you. It's there. great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. Wow, I got here just I'm in glad time. you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of so course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Uh. Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. You, uh, is he really? Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. 
I've never been so happy in my entire life. I can tell. <laughs> or that distinct smile. Um, alright. So, is that anything? Like I said, I can never get enough scrap. Is that... Me? I... Lloyd's oh. a great man, but he's g The man knows how to fix and build. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice... Recover a lady? What are you talking about, sir? I was Did I say that? that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Oh, I know. I think I know what he's talking about. Uh, I think I just did that mission to, like, get favor. Oh, my God. But the lady, that's, that's, that, I'm pretty sure that's the mission. Um, so, we've helped three people now. There's one more. I wish, like, the icons would go away when I've helped them on the minimap, so it's really hard to tell. Ah! Fuck fake, man. You not do that. Jesus Christ. I need to turn off my heater. But, all right, sorry about that. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Yeah, people. Oof. <sighs> okay. Although I have to admit, I do. I have a nasty habit of doing that sometimes. Very good at walking silently. So I'll appear out behind someone and be like, "Hello." All right, I'm just. I need to just. Uh, oh man, this is not helpful. Uh, Alright, let's just go this way and see if there's a person here that we haven't helped yet. Unless we already have the mission that we haven't completed. Um, things that go boom, and that's what we're kind of doing right now. Alright. Oh uh, boy. Boy oh boy oh boy. I don't know if we've been in here. Hi. Oh. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. Huh. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Uh, I'm looking to make myself Gosh, useful. there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He could use help tending to any injured we got. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. My kind? Excuse me? That's racist. Uh, wait. I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall. Why am I talking hut. to a kid? Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, sure I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the. F yeah, yeah, okay. Very exciting. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I can't care less. All right. So wait. We need to go find a doctor. Seriously. No. Wait. Do we actually have to listen to that kid? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just I don't want to. You're back. When you walked off in the middle of our. Yeah, alright, alright. I like to know about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this mm -hmm. hut. Shall I tell you what We've it got all a minute means? and 45 seconds left. Alright, um. Here's what we're gonna do. I just. I don't wanna bore you guys with, like, this whole description thing. If you wanna, like, find it, I'm sure you can, like, look it up and listen to it. But I just think it's gonna waste a lot of time. Particularly seeing as it says, sure, I can spare the time here. So we're just gonna end the episode now. Now I'm going to listen to him throughout the entire thing. <laughs> um, actually, you know what, what I'll do? I will record it, but I'll make it a separate link, which you can see here. Which I probably just put on the screen somewhere. Um, hopefully, if I remember. And it's going to be a private video, and you can watch me talk to this kid. Um, depending on how long it takes, of course. I don't know, maybe not, but... Yeah. So uh, for now, I'll see you next time. Bye.